Hello everybody, James here, Client Manager at Wavestreaming.com. Today we're going to be doing something just a little bit different than we normally do. Rather than sitting at a computer or anything, we're going to be looking at how you can actually use some of this stuff. I've got all sorts of wires and cables and a mixing desk in here and how you can actually connect it uh, to your PC and broadcast via the internet. Maybe you're a DJ and you want to stream your record decks or CD players or maybe you fancy just going one step further than just broadcasting via a computer and you want more of a professional radio station style setup with a mixing desk and so on. We're going to be teaching you exactly how to do that here. So via the magic of video editing this is now going to be transformed from all this mess in here into a nice neat organized uh, layout here on the table. Speak to you in a moment. So now we've got everything set up that we're going to be using in today's tutorial down here, nice and neatly on this very table in front of me. Now, I've kind of done this down for you. I don't want to overcomplicate things. So there are cables missing. For example, this mixing desk normally has to have a power supply plugged in, but just to avoid uncomplicated, unnecessary cables, I've not got a power cable for it. Likewise, the laptop may normally have a power cable, etc., etc. The laptop, in this case, isn't even on. Really, the idea of this tutorial is just to demonstrate the simple principles and actually just how you go from A to B with the mixing desk in the middle. Now, if you've ever worked in a radio station before, or if you're a DJ, or maybe you've got a band, you'll definitely know what one of these things is. And really, what this mixing desk allows you to do is control which audio the computer hears and which it doesn't. Now, in this tutorial, I'm only going to connect, show you how to connect a microphone to here. However, in real life, you'd probably have one mic, maybe even two or three mics connected. You may have a couple of CD players. You may have another computer connected, etc., etc. But for the purposes of just keeping it simple, we're just going to be using one microphone today. You may have a computer with a microphone plugged directly into it, and you may be looking to take it to the next step um, by adding a mixing desk into the mix. Haha, <laughs> did you see what I did there? Um, and so what, what we're going to do really is, first of all, I'm just going to show you how you connect the mixing desk to the computer. Now, every computer pretty much has uh, supports like this on. If you can see there, there's a, a kind of a pinky colored one and a green one. The pink one is for a microphone, there's a little mic symbol there. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this phono lead, which has got these red and white connectors on, and also this small jack, uh, which goes into the microphone socket. Anything now coming in to this lead will go into the computer and be picked up on our sound card, it's a sound card, sorry, which will obviously in turn be broadcast out onto the internet using the Shoutcast plugin. And by the way, if you're not sure how to do that, it's very simple. All you have to do is go into the input tab and change it instead of using Winamp, e.g. you're playing your MP3s, change it to sound card mode, and then you'll actually be able to broadcast anything that goes via your sound card, in this case, via the microphone input. These two we're going to connect onto our mixing desk here. We've got a, a recording output, and these just plug in nice and simply like that. And obviously, this is designed if you're recording something. And effectively, we really are. Um, rather than actually recording anything, it is just being broadcast out via the internet. But this is just an output. Anything you want the computer to hear, e.g. anything where these switches, these faders are turned up, will be broadcast out. And anything where they're turned down, the computer won't be able to hear. In turn, we're going to connect our microphone up. This is what is known as an XLR cable, which is a kind of standard microphone cable. Um, there's two parts to it, so we'll just plug the first part into our microphone, and the second part will go into our mixing desk. So now we have a kind of chain, if you like. We're going from our kind of actual physical input device, in this case a microphone, this could, as I said, be a CD player or maybe another computer. Via the mixing desk, we then switch the microphone on, and we can start speaking, uh, which in turn will travel down this cable and go into our laptop, and in turn be broadcast out via our server to all of our listeners. Um, as soon as we turn the microphone off by switching down the fader, the listeners will no longer be able to hear this mic, and then maybe we'll turn some music on, or we'll turn uh, input from another computer on, so on and so forth. So you get the general idea. Now this, as I said, is a very simplified version. In real life, you probably have more than just one mic connected to your mixing desk, but hopefully this has given you just a little insight into how it all works and just uh, shown you how 
uh, the process in which you can connect a microphone to a kind of intermediary device, the mixing desk, and then in turn to a laptop to be broadcast out over the internet. If you're looking to get started in internet radio, if you want to find out more information, just click on the links at the side of this video. We've got a great website set up with all sorts of information and goodies for you uh, if you're thinking about getting an internet radio station, or if indeed you already have an internet radio station looking to progress things forward. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, I'll speak to you again very soon. Bye for now.